and it can be a lot of pressure but you really just have to make sure that you stay on top of things you have to make sure you are organized you have to make sure that you pray out because i am i am in such a like positive headspace i have everything going for myself i'm so in line with the universe right now and i just want to thank god I, like i'm very blessed like looks like this is so cute this cute little thumbnail huh. this is the bear i have a surprise and you know business has doing has been doing Hi Lash Bays, welcome back to my channel. If you're already subscribing, then hey, if not, go ahead, click the subscribe button, turn on the notification post, and give this video a thumbs up because if you're not lashed by Mercedes, then who are you lashed by, period. So by the time of this video, you already know, today is going to be a life update slash five tips to start a business, okay? And I was thinking about doing these videos in two, but I think I'm just going to make it one big video and just kind of make it as short as possible. So we're gonna get right into it, okay? I have the notes right here because my man just be going everywhere. So the first thing I wanna, you know, update you guys on is me finishing my third trimester of chiropractor school. Now, if you did not know, I am in chiropractor school to be a chiropractor. I'm getting my PhD in chiropractic studies. So we have 10 trimesters. I'm currently a tri four student. So I have six more trimesters to go. I graduate 2023 in the summertime. So I'm looking forward to that. So I'm just very proud of myself. Chiropractic school is very hard, especially like when you're trying to run a, uh, a business. And it can be a lot of pressure, but you really just have to make sure that you stay on top of things. You have to make sure you are organized. You have to make sure that you prioritize, know which one is important for which day. And right on the daily schedule, I always keep a plan with me because my days can get really hectic. My weeks be ridiculous. So I always have to plan that thing, them things out. So that's an update. I finished that. So um started school about three weeks ago. So let's hope that we finish Try Four Strong. Um, next, I want to talk about me being in a better mental space. Um, if you guys watched my recent, my past videos about a month ago, I was talking about getting into my self-love, self-care journey. And basically that was the journey I need to like heal myself from like everything that i've been going on that has been going on in 2020 and like just like my past period you know i have been really just dedicating some me time to myself um just keeping my peace not really messing with different people you know really just keep it to myself and just figuring out what what i love what makes me happy you know what i don't like what i do like you know and i was able to figure that out because i am i am in such a like positive headspace i have everything going for myself i'm so in line with the universe right now and i just want to thank god i like i'm very blessed like i could just cry like i'm just so blessed because like when you really go through something and, and during that during that tough moment in your life you really think like damn i'm helpless like this is miserable like i'm miserable but when you finally like come from under that like you just feel like you're on top of the world and that's just how i feel like i just feel like i'm on top of the world i just feel like this is my year nothing's gonna stop me i'm claiming nothing but um positivity i have been doing nothing but manifesting everything about that process is in my past videos i literally just woke up i manifested every single day um i pray like three times a week it's getting really bad now because now i pray like five times a day like i mean not a week I said three times a week, three times a day. And now I pray like five times a day. And, you know, it just it just really puts me in a better space overall throughout my whole day. Um, I listen to positive money affirmations every single day. You know, I just literally just keep myself in a positive attitude. If I wake up and I don't feel motivated, I just talk to myself. I give myself a daily talk. I open up my blinds. I get some sun going in. You know, and I just been like doing just really well mentally. And I just, I just feel just so blessed. So that's another good thing that's been going on with me. And lastly, um, I started a free mentorship program and basically that's for girls um, or boys, it doesn't matter. But basically people who, you know, want that group of people, that group of support in the entrepreneurship world and they don't have that you know i'm uh, i'm uh, i always ask god to um bless me so i could bless others so by doing that i felt like you know i'm in a really good space in my business right now so you know help people for free you know if you want to if you want to see if i you know like a flyer or anything or what can you do to improve your flyer or your pictures or your captions or your hashtag you know i want to be the person that can help you a little bit you know i'm not saying that i have all the answers but i have enough answers to get me where i am now to help the next person you know what i'm saying 
So, like, I really just want to be that person where people can just, no matter what, they don't have no no friends that's positive or they don't have nobody in their corner, period. I want to be the female in your corner room for your business. I even shop with some of my um mentee stores. Like, I just, I'm just really big on people, you know, winning. You know, it's enough money out here for everybody. And a lot of people, when they go to help, when they go to ask people for help with these businesses, you know, they either charge a ridiculous price or they feel like, oh, no, I don't want to help i don't want to help her because she may outshine me it's co it's collaboration over com competition i'm not a competition with nobody but myself and i'm just competing with myself it's a it's money out here for everybody so i don't mind helping people you know i don't mind telling people you know what looks good or what doesn't or how to get the instagram followers up and everything i don't mind dropping gems gems for free you know like so that is the update like with me uh personal wise now update business wise so first of all i want to get into my new collection i am so like excited for it because it has already dropped it dropped february 1st and it has been going great today is february 4th and i have so many sales y'all and then today i slight like, kind of went viral on my instagram reel i've never had over 5,000 um views on my instagram reel like i usually get like 400 500 you know but it went up today okay and that's because i've been really pushing out pushing out pushing out pushing out content so i'm just gonna get right into the collection i have 10 different styles um i'm gonna just like insert little pictures like here there whatever just gonna show you little um pictures of them i have 10 different styles um be mine that's a red and black style dreamy that's a blue and black style um lovey dovey like i'm just gonna insert them all in here if i can remember how to do that because it's been a while since i uploaded a youtube a video but i want to make sure i get that in for you but you can always follow my instagram at lashed by mercedes underscore to go look at all the new things that i have or you can go visit my website at www lashes by mercedes.com and i actually want to come on here and actually show you guys my valentine's day box because i just think it's so cute oh, i dropped my business card so this is my business card if you guys don't know lash by mercedes llc super cute and then this is the box it looks like this is so cute this cute little thumbnail huh. this is the bear and, and this is so cute isn't it it's like I'm gonna use that as my thumbnail. One of my thumbnails. Okay. So this is $25 box and it comes with this cute teddy bear, you know, some something you can put on your dresser or put on your bed for the holidays. And then that's that. And it's $25. And then it comes with this eight stickers. It's just like a Valentine's Day sticker. You know, just something cute to brighten the mood, put the theme in, you know. It comes with that. And then you get a, a heart sucker. Okay. And then you get some lip gloss because baby. Lips gotta be popping on Valentine's Day, okay? Lips gotta be popping, period. We don't play that, okay? And then you get two pairs of lashes. Now I have four different type of uh, boxes, so you can either get. So here are the styles. This style is Drunk in Love. This is twenty five mm, and then this is Lovey Dovey. Isn't that cute? I know. Thank you. <laughs> So, you get two pairs of lashes. Of course, you get my cute little discount card. And then you get a lash toolkit. Now, this is definitely needed for people who are just learning how to put on lashes. And basically, what it comes with is your regular eyelash clamp. So, you can get those eyelashes curling. It comes with a pair of scissors because everybody that wears lashes know that it's not always that the eyelash is going to match your exact eye. So, you know you want to... Cut it down and then it comes with a applicator so this is what you actually use when you go in here and you know put the lash on and then it comes with a tweezer i use my tweezer when i'm going to take the lash off the lash tray okay so it comes with that and you get a another row of cute stickers just random stickers that i cut up and then um you just get like confetti you get confetti in here you can't really see it but it's like confetti it's like these cute little sparkly like can you see oh you can't see it but it's like this cute little sparkly heart for example super cute super cute and you just get like little diamonds in the bag so you get i mean the box so you just get all of that for the price of uh, and of course a lash brush this is how my lash brush looks like 
So it's just a pink lash brush. You get all of that for $25. Now, tomorrow, I'm going to drop this video tonight, which is February 4th. So I'm dropping this video tonight. And tomorrow, February 5th, really at midnight, I will be having free shipping. So if you guys want to head over to my website and, you know, go check me out, go ahead and do that. Get you this Valentine's Day box. I promise you won't regret it. It's super duper cute. It's affordable. You get a lot. You get a bang for your dollar. You get a lot of items in that bag. And I spent a lot of time looking for these lashes. And so far, they have been selling out really, really well. So, um, that's it on that collection. And, of course, I still have all my old lashes. So, you know, I have my lash wood. And this looks like this when you open it. This is in my, this is a part of my lit collection. So, this is lash wood. I still have that available, plus many more. Like, I also have all of my lash pins available. And these are 100% waterproof and vegan. And natural products um, are included in that. And I have them in black and I have them in clear. And then, of course, we have the favorites, Drunk Dialing. And you take it out of the case and it looks like this. And these are 25 mm. I have all different, you know, ranges, ranging from, and I can show you guys other pictures, like put them around, put them around here. Um, I have uh, different ranges of lashes. I have different pairs of lashes ranging from 16 mm to 25 mm. So you really can just, you know, I have all the mm's, the millimeters posted on each picture, so you can just really just see which one you want. Okay, next. Um, I have a surprise and you know business has doing has been doing really good and um I actually have been having a lot of business flowing in that it really has been taking up my house and it's kind of it's not irritating because it is a blessing like I remember days when I used to get one package a week and now I'm getting several packages a day like the the lashes are flowing in the orders are coming like it's starting to get a little bit too much so your girl went and got her like, office space <laughs> I got me an office space, y'all. I was so excited. Like, I was going to, like, keep it within myself until I got finished with it. But you know what? My YouTube family just hit a little different, and I ain't going to lie. I'm excited. So, I have an office space. So, if you don't know, I'm going to be a lash artist very, very, very soon. I've been practicing every single day, and I'm going to be doing lashes and selling lashes. So, if you are in the St. Louis area or in the Missouri area that's near St. Louis, make sure that you stop by and pick up your lashes if you want to pick up i will have that option available i plan on being doing my office space march like 5th so once that's done once that's done you guys are going to be able to you know pick whichever lashes you want and then at the end instead of it saying at checkout instead of it saying like shipping address it will say pick up it will be a pickup option and you come just pick up your lashes and then like it's gonna be real cute i can't wait to show y'all i'm gonna give you like a come with me to my office videos and help me decorate my office videos like that is all i want to be a part of this whole process so i want to take you guys with that uh i want to take you guys with me during that whole process so next we're going to get into the real tea five tips to start a business okay five tips so the first tip that um i suggest people when starting a business is really find your passion really take the time to see hmm what is it do i really really want to sell you know don't just um don't just sell something make sure my ain't no white stuff around my lips i hate that but don't just sell something because you see that everybody else is selling it or don't just sell something because you see how good the next person is selling that you don't know you don't know what they've been through to get to the success that they are, that they are at now you know what i'm saying so really take the time to find your passion don't just start something or think that you like something and then once you get into the business be like you know what i don't even feel like selling these no more don't do that find your passion it's not a, it's not a race it's a marathon take the time to find your passion what do you if you really want to be an entrepreneur what do you really see yourself selling and that you can enjoy i enjoy packaging packages up until two o'clock in the morning i enjoy that and i get tired i'm not gonna lie because i still have school but i really enjoy the fact that i'm blessed enough to have people that really want to support my brand and i'm so busy to the fact to the fact that i'm uh, packaging orders at 2 a.m that's a blessing because it was times that i wish that i could even package five orders in a day i used to get one order for one day pack it up send it off and then just be like done you know and i was thinking like man i used to see everybody not comparing myself but just looking at it as motivation like oh i see she's doing very well with her business i can't wait till i get to that point you know like just seeing everything as motivation and put it put a little spark in my ass and it made me just come up with different ways that i can do to get myself up there because i knew that the quality of my lashes and i say this not to throw shade but like i literally have the best lashes and i know so because everybody tells me so 
And I'd be seeing people lashes and I'd be like, <laughs> okay, like, because then my it. You feel me? But, you know, like, lashes has always been my passion. If you know me, I, you know I'm a girly girl. Nails done, feet done, lashes, lip gloss. I don't wear makeup. This is real. This is my skin. But, you know, like, hair done. Like, I always just be done up. Necklaces, you know, jewelry. You know, like, but I really, 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 really love lashes. Like, I really do. So, like, it wasn't hard for me to find my passion. But just find your passion. See what you really care for. See what you really love. And go with it. You know what I'm saying? So that's all I have to say about that. Um, the second part of starting a business is research. You guys have to take the time to research because if you don't research, you will get fucked over in the industry. I'm telling you. I got finesse from my vendor off Alibaba my first year of business and I didn't even know until my second year of business, which was last year, 2020, uh, around February. Why? Because I did not do enough research. Like, I did not do research. And by the time, around the time that I was selling lashes, like, it wasn't a lot of, like, YouTube videos on, like, how to start a business, how to sell, start a lash business, you know? At least I wasn't into the YouTube world until quarantine happened. So I didn't think, like, oh, let me go on YouTube and learn how to, you know, start a lash business. You know, that's not the first thing I thought of when I wanted to start a business because I wasn't really a YouTube person. I just knew this was something I was going to, I wanted to do. And I just used Google as my search engine. And I went on from there. But now you can literally go on YouTube and type in anything that you want to sell. And you're going to see videos on how to start that business. Okay. So take the time to do your research. You know, go on Alibaba. Make sure that you are clicking on verified vendors. If you don't know how to do that, click refine on the top right corner. It should be at the top right corner. And click verified vendors. And then, um, you know, get samples. You know, find your find yourself a truck like a vendor that you trust. Get samples from different vendors because you always want to test the quality. Like when I first, my issues when I first got my first so my first pair of samples, I just immediately fell in love because I was just happy to have lashes. Like period. So I thought that my lashes was just the best, but then I had found this new vendor, which I actually found them on Instagram, which is crazy. Found them through Instagram, and they the quality of the lashes. Now this, now I looked at my lashes, I said, now this is really 3D meek. The other stuff I had. It was a cutting. It was very much fox mink. And I did not, I was not promoting fox mink. I was literally telling people that it was mink lashes and it wasn't even really mink. Like, I wanted the real mink, the fluffiness, the, you know, like the, the, the fuzziness. Like, that's the, that was all the type of lashes I'm known for. I'm not known for the silk lashes, shall I say, the silk. I don't think they even call fox mink. I think they're called silk. I don't know, whatever. But it wasn't the real, y'all know, it wasn't the real fluffy ones, you know. And that was simply because I did not do my research. So you guys need to really take the time to do your research. Like I said, this process is all about being patient. You want to put all the effort and the energy and the time into your business. If you don't want to do nothing else, you want to make sure that your business is on point, okay? And don't get me wrong, everybody's going to make mistakes when they first starting off. It's okay. But you know, do take those extra steps to make sure that everything is in a line. So when you do drop your business, you won't have as many problems like I did. Okay, I'm trying to tell you something that I learned in this business industry. Do your research and get multiple samples from multiple vendors until you find the quality of your lashes that work. And also, test some strips out. When I got my lashes, ask any of my friends. I gave her a pair, her a pair, her a pair, him. I gave everybody pairs. Sleep in these lashes. Wear them for a week, wear them for a month. Tell me how they feel. And after I got all my views, I was able to pick the vendor that was for me. So it's a process, but it's all worth it when you find your vendor. Because once you find your vendor, all the cute stuff come in. Like the logos and decorating all that. Okay, which moves me on to my third tip. Number three, get that logo, that website, and that Instagram business page started. You want to immediately get it started. Okay, and let me tell you why. All that message me, uh, DM me for purchase. Nobody want to do that. Nobody wants to do that. It's 2021. Nobody's doing that anymore. Nobody wants to do that. Like, if you're not taking your business seriously enough to get you a website, then who's going to take you serious? I'm not, I'm, I'm just sorry. I'm not giving nobody my address via DM. Like, I'm just not like, it's too many scams going on. I don't trust people like that. Hold on. My eye is tearing up. Ooh. Anyways, I don't trust people like that to be giving my personal information out through via DM. I feel like it's unprofessional. I just don't want to do it. You know? And I'm the type of person that I like to shop at night. So, I'm up, like I said, if I'm packing orders at 2 a.m. and I decide to take a 15-minute break, I may utilize my 15 minutes and I, I utilize my 15 minutes and I may go shopping online. And I don't want to have to go on your page and you say, DM the purchase and I'm ready to purchase now. Because what that's going to do, that's going to drive your customers away. Because they're going to find somewhere else that they can shop to and get that, that, that one piece, them flip-flops 
and they could just put their stuff in on the website and they could go up out their day. They ain't got to deal with it. But you're asleep. You're asleep. So the DM stuff is overrated. You need to get you a website. You know, get you an affordable person that could do it or do it yourself. It's it's so many videos on YouTube to teach you how to do you create your own website. Do it. Because I'm telling you, like, the DM stuff is just not a go. Like, you may be sleeping at 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning. Somebody may be ready to shop at that time. I have to wait for you to reply to me in the morning. I, I already purchased like five items from the next girl who got a website. You missing out on no money like that. Nobody, Nobody's going to really want to shop with you. I'm just being honest. I don't care what nobody says. You, you need a website, sweetie. Okay? And I mean that in the most humblest way possible. Um, Next is getting your Instagram business page started. People always say, you like, I don't have the, the lashes just yet, so why am I getting started? When I first started my business, I had my lash page, and I was dropping lash quotes. Everything that my vendor was sending me, even the little videos, I was dropping little, little, some of this and some of that. You know, like, just to get people attracted to my page. You know what I'm saying? I... I was doing it like that, and I was just building up my flop, my followers until I finally got the actual lashes that I was going with, and then that's when I started posting them. But you got to start somewhere. You know what I'm saying? You have to start somewhere because if you don't start nowhere, you're going to have all these lashes, no business page. You're going to be trying to label your lashes and organize your lashes and start your Instagram. You're going to be freaking out, about, freaking out about your followers. Make it easy for yourself. I already come up with an Instagram name. Come up with an Instagram name. Um, Drop some lash quotes. This is everything that I did. Now, I do want to make a disclaimer. Just these tips is what the things that I did, okay? And what I encourage you to do. Don't think it may not work for you. Everything that worked for me may not work for you. I want to just put that out there. But that is what worked for me. Me actually making my Instagram page and me um, actually uh, posting last quotes and letting people know, like, coming soon. Coming soon. And kept dropping little cute little hints and videos and pictures. That would get my followers up. I mean, I didn't get, like, a thousand followers off back. But I did get about, like, 300 followers. And you know what? That was something. You know, it's better than nothing. So, get that business page started and also get that logo started. You can find a logo on Etsy. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's E-T-S-Y. One of them. Whatever. Or you can find your logo designer. I have a designer called Brenda with Mia on Instagram. I love her work. I love her. Hold on. My eye keeps tearing up. Oh, so irritated. I love her. I love her work. Um, I'm going to drop her name at the bottom. Like... She does amazing work. That's who I go to for my logos and everything else. So, shout out to her. And lastly, because I, I don't want to make this video too long, I want to try to get it under 30 minutes. So, lastly but not least is my most important tip is, this is probably like the most important. Spend less money when you're first starting off. Oh, I cannot kid you. I cannot, I cannot stress this enough. When you're first starting a business, don't just go all out and buy 50 pair of lashes each and you got 10 different styles. Don't do that to yourself. Start little and then build up from it. When I first started off, I started off with, I think, 10, like, literally 10 pairs of lashes. Two pairs of each style. Ten, like, 10 pairs, two pairs of each style. And I started off with that. I sold out within the first, like, probably, like, four hours. And I got people that could vouch. I sold out immediately. And then after that, I increased it. And um, I did five of each. Sold out immediately. I'm like, okay, these ladies want these lashes. So what I did, and that's when I was doing pickups and drop-offs. Don't get me wrong. I definitely started off with pickup and dropped off and D, uh, DM for purchase. I definitely started there. So don't, um, that's all I'm saying. I'm not judging you all, but I'm just saying, don't do what I did. But I was definitely doing the DMs and the pickups and the drop offs But I was strictly really only doing the pickups and the drop offs So once those went out as fast as they did, I said, Amber, now it's time to take your, your brand seriously. And you know what? It is okay to have like a little launch law, launch to see how you do, you know, because that's exactly what I did. You know, I, I just grabbed a couple of lashes. I promoted them a little bit to my friends, picked up, dropped off. And then after that, once I noticed that these these people is getting these lashes every time I restock, I said, okay, now, Amber, it's time to take your, your business very seriously. And that's when I went ahead and I stopped restocking for like two weeks and I immediately got on making a website, make, doing a photo shoot. You know, I did a professional photo shoot. You don't have to do a professional photo shoot for to get professional pictures on your website. Just get you some good lighting, get you a camera. These, these iPhones so raw, get you a nice camera and be done. But back then, I'm, I mean, I'm a Gemini, so baby, I'm extra. So I had to do the whole photo shoot, you know? So, and I had the money to do it around the time. So that's why I did it. But if you don't have the money to do a professional photo shoot, that is okay. You could just take pictures off your phone. You know, just take quality pictures. It's all about quality, okay? So, I did the website photo shoot, got that all out the way, and then after that, boom, launched June 15th, 2019. Okay, and it was up from there. I had my website going, you know, everything was good, but you know, like, I had to start spending less money. I didn't go and buy, you know, 
30 pairs of each lashes and then was sitting there like, dang, nobody wants this inventory, you know? So I don't know if you ever heard that. Maybe this is a tip that you already know, but if you don't know, please do not spend all your money on inventory when you first, first, first starting your business. Start off little and then grow into it. Start off little. Start start off with five pair of lashes. Start off with 10 pair of lashes. I do wholesale. So you guys can visit my website. You could do wholesale with me. I'm telling you, you're not going to regret it. You're going to get your lashes very fast. I have several people that have done wholesale orders with me and they keep purchasing. Why? Because they keep selling out because the quality of the lashes are so good. You know what I'm saying? So if you need that business started, sis, let me know and I will get you started. But definitely start off small and then grow. Okay? You don't want to just go and just buy an overload of inventory and then you having a hard time selling it. You know? So... With that being said, that pretty much sums up this video. I hope that you guys enjoy. I hope that you guys learned something. I hope to see. No, man. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you want more of these videos, I will be posting another video tomorrow because I'm back, back, back with the content. Back giving my followers what they want. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, Lash Babes.